Hello and welcome. Another graphic novel review by me, Andrew Ace. You can find me online at UYS999, uh, which is how you spell my last name, which is pronounced Ace. This week, I'm doing the best of Image Comics. So, Image, founded in the 90s by a number of crazy, amazingly talented artists. Um, you have, you know, Todd McFarlane, who did Spawn, Rob Liefeld, who did Young Blood, uh, Jim Lee, Wildcats, the list goes on. And while Image certainly started with a bang, and, and I know they've been lifetime, lifelong uh, fans of the company and their material, they certainly lost a bit of their steam, uh, a bit of their energy, until, I would say, maybe five years ago, maybe a little bit less. But recently, uh, they really ramped up their creator-owned and started bringing in some major names, um, people who aren't necessarily completely never going to do work ever again with Marvel or DC, though in the case of one or two people. Uh, I know there have been situations where they're just so frustrated, disenfranchised by the, the larger, you know, you're putting out essentially a franchise, a Spider-Man book, it's not your own title. Um, and so they've come to Image to do their own creator own work, and what we've seen is some phenomenal reads that have come out. Now, uh, I'm going to start with the most obvious, and interestingly enough, this is actually by someone who wasn't a founder of Image, but has now become one of their big guns. I mean, you know, one of the guys that runs the company, uh, and that's Robert Kirkman. So, I mean, you're going to be familiar with that name, of course, because he's the creator of Walking Dead. Walking Dead, an image comic title, zombie, apocalypse, uh, TV show, hugely popular. Robert Kirkman, the writer, has gone on to create both other series and, like I said, uh, I believe be the only writer to be in the sort of, you know, when I say board of directors or, you know, at the head of the company. Um, and, uh, you know, that really speaks to his talent, his energy. Uh, he's a prolific writer. And, uh, you know, I don't think I've read something by him that I haven't ever liked. Uh, even though, personally, Walking Dead isn't my cup of tea. I'm not a big zombie fan. Um, but you can read this uh, for the characters. Um, just, I mean, it's, it's stunning. It's an amazing read. Everybody knows that. Everybody loves Walking Dead. So moving on. Next, we have something that came out a little while back. Powers, you might recognize that name though as it's now becoming a TV show. Brian Michael Bendis, huge big name at Mar well, Marvel these days. Uh, he was the architect behind Avengers and New Avengers for years, and then X-Men and Uncanny X-Men. Um, and this, which he is still writing and is still continuing, um, but was a series that took the idea of superheroes, placing them in a very more, I guess when I say realistic world, one where, you know, uh, the police have had years to adapt to them and, and not in a kind of more uh, fantastical way that sometimes you see in Marvel, even more gritty way you sometimes see, you know, DC and, and you know, say with Batman. Um, and, and it starts with a murder mystery, trying to solve the murder of a superhero um, and, and, you know, really just goes from there. A phenomenal read. There's at least 11 or 12, if not more, graphic novels out. I might only be up to 11. Um, so it is a bit of a read commitment, but Brian Michael Bendis never disappoints. I mean, heck, if you read Powers, you're going to go on trying to find any other work he's written. Um, phenomenal read, great for superhero fans, great for crime noir fans, uh, just great for people who want to read amazing um, comic books. So, moving on. Next is a very recent series. Um, there are only, I believe, at four, maybe five graphic novels out. Uh, Saga. Uh, by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. Phenomenal series. I know I keep saying that, but these are the best picks. I mean, I've got, you know, two, three shells of image graphic novels, uh, and I've gone through to try and choose the best ones. Uh, Brian K. Vaughn, uh, one of my personal favorite writers, uh, he's written Ex Machina, or Ex Machina, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, Why the Last Man, which I'd be surprised does not become a TV show or something at some point. Um, and uh, <clears throat> this is a new series he's been putting out with Image, uh, with the talented Fiona Staples. And it's a mashup of sci-fi and fantasy, um, but basically just starts with uh, a romance story. Uh, and that then is your window into this world of intergalactic battles, uh, magic and robots, and just 
everything is in this, but Brian K. Vaughan makes it work better than anybody could. It's an amazing read. I can't recommend it nearly enough. So, moving on. This is East of West. Uh, I rave about this book all the time. It is very dark. Um, you know, looking at the other ones, uh, they're all pretty much mature readers. Uh, don't kid yourself. Saga, lots of sexuality. Heck, they were even, there was an, even an issue of censorship around a particular panel, I remember, at one point. Uh, which I thought was a bit ridiculous. But anyway, uh, Powers, again, gritty, definitely mature reader. And, uh, I mean, Walking Dead. I know that a lot of young readers are introduced, but I just suggest to parents to make sure you flip through and you're comfortable with um, you know, the images and the storylines involved. East of West, definitely a mature reader story. This is about the apocalypse. Um, it's a sort of alternate history world. And Jonathan Hickman, who took over the Avengers from Brian Michael Bendis, um, is probably right after him, my next maybe with Brian K. Vaughan. Uh, certainly, again, you know, one of the best writers out there. It's, it's tough to sometimes maybe whittle down that top five or top ten pool of mine um, because, you know, often each writer has their own strengths. So I love Mark Miller for X and I love Jonathan, you know, Jonathan Hickman for Y. Um, this is an amazing series. Starts with Death trying to find his lost child, uh, his lost wife, and, you know, the the four horsemen, or the three other horsemen of the apocalypse, and what they're up to. Uh, you, it is not uh, Christian heavy. Um, it is rather taking and drawing upon the Judeo-Christian monotheistic Book of Revelations, um, and and trying to then take it a step further in, into a supernatural, fantastical realm for sure. And already with the alternate history. Um, you know, you, you've got a sense that they aren't trying to make a commentary on our own world or on our own religion per se, uh, but maybe rather the the vices, the human element that is inside all of us. So, all right, that's uh, East of West, Jonathan Hickman. Definitely check it out. So those are the books, obviously, I wanted to really rave to you about, but the problem was then, of course, I have so many more, and I just have to mention them. Amazing Joy Buzzards. Uh, this is an action rock and roll boy band fighting vampires and supernatural monsters with uh, Mexican wrestlers, uh, but Mexican wrestler ghosts. Um, it, you just you can't go wrong. It is black and white, um, but I, I don't mean that in any detraction. It is just really a very unique, exciting read, and all of all of them possibly the least you know mature readers uh, only kind of book. Uh, and this is by, I'm trying to find the gentleman's name, I'm super embarrassed, Mark Andrew Smith. Um, of course, I can't find the credits, and yes, Mark Andrew Smith, I thought so. Uh, again, phenomenal writer. All right, Witch Doctor, Witch Doctor, really exciting medical drama supernatural series, worth checking out. Uh, there's only two trades out. Fatal. Uh, I didn't talk more about this one because I have spoken about it in a previous review. Ed Brubaker, uh, Cthulhu Noir, alternate history, moving out throughout different time periods, uh, but creating one larger story. Phenomenal read. Velvet. I just managed to pick this one up. Uh, this is by Ed Brubaker and Steve Epting, the gentleman who did Captain America the Winter Soldier. And this is their look at a very real world a uh, spy story set in the Cold War. Um, phenomenal. And Fear Agent, Rick Remender. Um, this is about a guy in space. It couldn't be more crass or more funny. Um, and when I have friends who haven't read comic books and they're looking, maybe for somebody to introduce them, um, but they're like, you know, I'm not so sure about all the superhero stuff, this is definitely the way to go. Um, it's the every man's comic book between the humor and the action. They're definitely going to love it. Uh, and one more that I haven't mentioned really quick, Chew. I mentioned this again also in a previous review. This is why I'm not covering it as much. Um, but hilarious, funny, gross. I mean, over the top gross. Uh, this is about a guy who can read the past or know the past of anything he eats and works as a police detective. You can figure it out from there. So, guys, those are my favorite image graphic novels. If you have some that uh, I've missed, you want to mention in the comment section. I always love hearing back from you. You'll find me online at UYS999. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope you're all having a great week and reading some great comic books. Take care.